certainly no love lost here, Dan. These two are ready to throw down. Yeah, even when uh, Dean came into the cage, he was sort of getting in Holbrook's face a little bit. So, yeah, these guys are ready to throw down. Oh, nice trade of shots there early on. Both men trading nice right hands. Truman's movement's always been one of his biggest assets. He's very nimble on his feet, and he's able to set up big, powerful shots. Saw a knockout on Kuro in seconds a few years ago here on Cage Warriors, and at that time, Kuro, one of the top prospects in the sport. Nice long teep to the stomach there from Hardwick. Can you believe this is not even our feature prelim? We've got another former champion up next. Truman opening up here. Yeah, very nice shots there. Luke Shanks, Nicholas LeBlanc will be coming up in just a few moments' time. That's the second semi-final of our flyweight title tournament. But Dean Truman and Harry Hardwick, scrappy start between these two lightweights. Hear the voice of our broadcast colleague Dan Hardy, he'll be joining us to call the main card. Oh, nice combination there from Hardwick. Dan Hardy, of course, in the corner of Dean Truman. Hardy calling for Truman to keep Hardwick thinking, change the angles, and he does. And there's a beautiful entry to the takedown. Hardwick scrambling, but he's taking shots here. Yeah, very nicely done. A beautiful sell with that strike straight into the takedown. And Hardwick doing a great job of scrambling back to his feet. He wanted no part of that grappling. But he continues in the clinch there, and it allows Dean to continue to try and find a way you know, Dean deciding that he's going to try and take this to the ground if he sees the opportunity. He fights for these double underhooks, forcing his opponent onto the fence. This is a very, very strong position. Clinch-wise, it doesn't get much stronger than this from in front of your opponent. Double underhook position. It allows you to either lift the opponent up, take the legs out, or you can drop those hands down and try and take your opponent down with a body lock. This is a very strong position. And also, when you've got those strikes involved, you use those double underhooks to open up the body, and then you throw nasty strikes to the uh, midsection. Oh, that was a stinging left hook from Hardwick. Truman just outlanding his opponent thus far in this round, but there's not a whole lot in it. Yeah, Truman definitely looking like he's thinking about taking this fight to the map. If George charges in, then it's going to give him the opportunity to change levels and coming underneath him. Now, whenever you feel that your opponent's going to try and take you down, you want to put it on him, but you've got to be very careful not to rush him too aggressively because the level change, as you power forward, the opponent's going in the opposite direction, and it adds a lot of power to the takedown attempt. Nice elbows and a body shot there from George Harbick, and he's calling Truman on now with a gamesmanship here from the youngster. Yeah, another takedown attempt here, but... Bob is really starting to get the measure of his opponent. He's finding the range with the strikes and he's getting his timing down very well, defending these takedowns early. Oh, a nice right hand just staggers Truman a little bit there. He needs to regain his composure here, does the former champ. There's a nice body shot from Hardwick. Yeah, Hardwick really mature in his striking. He's going for a high elbow guillotine there. It actually looked pretty nice. It was pretty much on, and he was instead using it to try and reverse his opponent, trying to get him onto his back. Now throwing strikes from this turtle position. Dean controlling a single wrist here, which can be a good idea. Looking the switch actually onto his back, very interesting. He really wants this fight on the ground. Oh, God, that will separate them and allow Truman back to his feet. Truman throwing a lead elbow there, takes a right hand for his efforts. Locks the body kick partially. Standing hand of fish, you always love to see it. And Hardwick just closing Dean Truman down a little bit here now. Nice leg kick. <laughs> Left hook again and right behind it. Hardwick landing shots here. Hardwick unloading at the end of the first round. 
block the head kick. And uh, oh, that's a friendly exchange there. <laughs> Yeah, Holbert definitely starting to come into his own in the second half of that round. Looking very, very comfortable. Uh, starting to see, it's going to be interesting to see if Dean takes that same energy of definitely wanting to take the fight to the mat in the second round because, you know, from, from sort of one or two minutes in, that's exactly what he was wanting to do with, you know, less and less success as the round went on. So this was one of those early, that early takedown. Look how fast George pops back to his feet, though. Happy to eat a couple of strikes on the way. Does not want to be on his back. Take a look at the elbow here from uh, Harry Hardwick. A nice left hand there. Truman using that footwork. Nice elbow over the top there. And a beautiful combination rip to the body as well. Hardwick out landing Truman 29 to 14. Both men though throwing at a, around a 55% accuracy clip. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting to see how Truman approaches this. You know, he, whether he's going to try and strike, he was having success early in that first round, or whether he's going to try and use these strikes to set up a takedown. But Harbour just, just really walking his man down, cutting off the uh, entire cage there and landing nicely as he does it. Yeah, it's a low calf kick followed by a left hook there from Hardwick. You've got to be careful, you know, when someone so obviously wants to try and take you down, you've got to be careful with those kicks because it does give the opponent the opportunity to catch it and then, as you're off balance, continue the takedown. Oh, nice combination from Truman there. Nice elbow. But Hardwick just muscles into the ground. Truman straight back up. Yeah. Is Hardwick going to work with the fists again? Yeah, Hardwick looking in, in fantastic shape, looking very, very strong and fit. Really marking Truman up to the body as well now. Truman really reacting to all of these strikes as well. You know, there's power and intent thrown behind every single one, and Hardwick knows it. He's getting confident by the second in here. We know Truman can go to the final bell, though. We've seen him in some great back and forth wars. The fight with Corin Eaton, uh, fight of the year contender on Cage Warriors a couple of years ago. There's some nice shots from Truman barreling forward. Head kick just blocked there by Hardwick. But you know, Hardwick is, he knows exactly what Truman wants and he's waiting. He's waiting for those shots and he's defending them very, very early. You know, if Truman continues to try and set up these takedowns with no, you know, to try and go for these takedowns with no setup, he's really going to start, he's going to fail every single time because Hardwick's so fast on these defenses. Both men landing nice shots in the clinch there. what I said about the, the risk of throwing kicks when you know that the opponent's going to try and take you down. But doing a very good job of continuing to stay on his feet is Hardwick. And certainly looking the fresher of the two men at the moment. Oh, oh, huge shot. Truman goes down and it's over. Wow, what a shot. George Hardwick making a statement here in the Cage Warriors lightweight division and with the defeat of former champion, former featherweight champion, Dean Truman. And what a stoppage by Mark Goddard there. He saw it, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, there's no follow-up, is it the right stoppage? But you can see Dean Truman still on the ground now, reeling from that shot. Well, let's take a look at the replay here of that finish. Absolutely perfect. Shades of Morgan Charrier, Perry Goodwin there. Fantastic stoppage there. And as you say, astute refereeing there from Mark Goddard. You see the reaction from Truman's corner here. Second 
second round stoppage for George Hardwick. Who really looked fantastic throughout. Yeah, absolutely. And the great show of respect here between these two warriors. I'm sure we'll see more of Dean Truman. Just wasn't his night tonight. But the morale in the, uh, the Hardwick dressing room now is going to be uh, sky high, you've got to believe. That's the, the one thing you want to see, getting ready for a fight. Your brother's just stopped someone with a body shot in the second round. You're always going to outdo your brother, right? That's, that's yeah. kind of the rules. So Let's see how that goes later tonight. But for now, we'll throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, and he will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Mark Goddard, calls a stop to this contest after two minutes and 31 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of knockout in the blue corner, George Hardwick. George Hardwick with the second round body.